all attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. It's Steve Wright. Uh, we're in uh, yes, sunny southern Ontario today, and I've got Christy Philly on with me. Hi, Christy. Hello, Steve. How are you? Very well, thank you. And we also have Blake Corey from, uh, where are you from, Blake? Sunny Southern California. Sunny <laughs> Southern California. Which I'm way. guessing is a whole lot warmer than sunny Southern Ontario right now. <laughs> yeah, um, it's freezing outside. It's like 60, 67, I think, outside, something like that. Yeah, well, we'll trade you anytime, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Um, okay, so what we're going to what we're going to do today is we're going to talk with Blake's been doing some really cool things with uh, promoting his success website using Facebook, and we're going to talk about some of the campaigns Blake's been doing to do that. And I think you'll find that uh, really interesting. Um, Christy, I'm going to let you and Blake control things. I'm going to try and monitor the questions, and I'll I'll cut in if I've got anything cool or if anybody's listening's got anything to say. So if you've got questions, just post them into the question area. And uh, we'll be sure to post them on to Blake. And if you would like to join us, you do have audio available. Um, raise your hand in there, and we'll. Uh, if you got a question, we'll we'll see if we can get you on as well. All right, sounds good. All right, Blake. Well, thanks again for joining us. I know that you're super busy, so uh, we really appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule to share some of the awesome things you're doing on Facebook with all of our our members here. So let's let's get right into it and talk a little bit about what you have been doing on Facebook and specifically how you've been segmenting very specific markets using Facebook as a media outlet. Yeah, so with Facebook, I to be honest with you, almost all of my buyer leads right now are solely coming in from Facebook. Um, so, hey, by the way, Chrissy, just before we get going, um, can you hear me good? I mean, I'm I'm on my phone right now. I'm actually in the process of getting to the office, and so I just want to make sure you can hear me well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could probably speak uh, okay. up a little bit more. It's, it's it's the volume's a little low, so okay. If you All right. Can move yeah, the phone no closer to your face. Awesome. Okay. So, so um, one of the things that I you know. Right now, all my buyer business is coming from Facebook advertising. Uh, right now, Jenny and I, Jenny and your office and I are starting to incorporate Google pay per click into it to see if we can build, you know, a stronger buyer pool or more, you know, higher quality buyers coming in. But yeah, uh, pretty much all of my business is coming from advertisements that we're running and sending people to my success website landing page. Um, that you and Jenny have built for for me that are sending people directly through to my idea or to my HDX. So right. that's yeah, and we right now um, between a handful of ads, um, and you know I I'm a tester, so I throw a bunch of ads out there, watch them for a couple of weeks, bring them back, all that kind of stuff. Right now we're pr I'm probably running the fewest ads I've ever run, and we're still pulling in. I think we just lost you for a second. Are you still there, Blake? Oh, geez. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened with Blake there. He was uh, he was on the phone. Blake will be calling back in, Christy. Why don't we uh, Why don't we start and show show people some of it? Like maybe we can walk through the process of what Blake's doing. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so yeah, Blake has been working with Jenny here in the office, and he he's only been with us maybe for about six or seven months. I think he signed up uh, at uh, in at one of the Anaheim conferences, and he got set up with with the full package, you know, branded, less branded, HDX management, and started working with with Jenny here in the office specifically on. Uh, the Facebook. Now, I think we did have some Google leads going for him as well, but because the Facebook was doing so much better at that time, uh, we we kind of switched gears and and went went for the Facebook traffic. So this is what we we ended up with. Okay. Now, a big part of what we've been doing with Blake, and a big part of what we do with all of our members actually, is is we we test. You know, we set up various ads, various campaigns, and we test. Sorry, are you there? 
I'm here. You're back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I was standing there talking, and then all of a sudden, I just realized there's nothing at the other end. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. No problem. No problem. So I was just explaining. We're looking at the ad right now that that um, that's doing really well for you. This is the uh, one for 2K down, and you probably can't see it. I know you're on the phone, but but this is this is the ad that won the the test. Right, so in the beginning, you were with Jenny testing out various ad copy, uh, different images, and and this is the one that we've been running consistently. Yeah, so the so, yeah, so the the only two K down ad for me uh, works really well. I have in California. I went out and you know sat with a couple lenders and figured out what programs could be available and. A lot of the programs that I have available are the same programs that most people that are probably on this call, at least in the United States anyways, have available to them. It's, you know, uh, there's, there's uh, Ernest down in Tampa, he's a platinum member, and we've been going back and forth, and he has only zero down programs, but, you know, I told him, I'm like, the quality of purse lead that you get in from a, a 2K down lead, you know, ad like this compared to a zero down ad is completely different and so there's a few people a uh, few platinum members now anyways that are actually utilizing the 2k down ads but yeah that one clean that one does really really well for us so what made you choose this particular campaign uh, well to be honest with you it was just what my market demanded so mm -hmm. um, I've I've run numerous numerous ads and I'm actually jumping on right now uh, to see to, to actually look at the exact ad, but it was what my market wanted. I found for my for in my marketplace that I serve, I found that pool homes and uh, 2K down are what my market wants. They want the free hot list of pool homes as well as the hot list of uh, 2K down houses because when I was running ads out there, that's and doing testing, that's what I was seeing. Now it's not the same for everyone. There's other members that I've been assisting and helping that have run the pool home ad and it doesn't work well in their market. And I, I tell them, okay, you know, sit down, take a piece of paper and figure out what type of hot list that you can put together for people that you can run and see what your market wants. There's a, there's a, a member up in uh, Seattle, Washington, his name's John. And we figured out that his market really wanted to be, you know, the highest demand was in a specific school district. So now he's running ads, um, through his success website landing page that, you know, this morning I got a call, hey, I got three leads yesterday. And so the, the quality of, of prospect is completely different than what he was getting just on Google. These were people who were coming to him wanting home, you know, hot list of homes in that specific school area, and he knew exactly how to connect with them and ultimately, hopefully, schedule the appointment. Yeah, I love that because there there are a lot of sort of fire and forget models out there in in this you know internet marketing space. A lot of systems that basically will just say you know give us five hundred dollars a month and we'll just generate some leads for you and 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 they don't really want you to collaborate. They actually don't even really want you to know what ads they're running necessarily. It's um, it's it's quite different from what we do here. We we really do like to collaborate with our members and find those campaigns that are going to work really well in your market. Well, yeah, and I think what you guys did for me, I mean, I have a, uh, I have a pre-selling kit or, you know, what's known in, in our coaching program as a bomb for buyers. And one of my bombs is for only 2K down. Uh, and one, I have another bomb that I'm just finishing up right now for, for vets, for VA. Um, so vets are a huge thing in my marketplace. I am being in Southern California. I'm near some of the biggest military bases in the United States, from you know Camp Pendleton, one of the biggest uh, Marine Corps bases, to you got the Navy, you got everything around me. And so, um, what we've actually done, and this is what I loved about working with you guys over at Success Website, is we built specific landing pages that were to designed towards vets, and our ads were designed towards vets. So our ads were designed towards vets then our landing pages were designed towards vets, and then when I got on the phone with them, I had something to give vets that were specific to them. So all of a sudden, you know, we found that niche market right there 
that we could service better than anyone else because the difference between Joe Realtor calling, you know, when they were looking at a property online, you know, hey, with, you know, my name's Joe with Remax compared to when I call, my, all my dialogue is specific to veterans. And, you know, my, it's not, my lender is just not a lender. My lender is a VA specialist or the local VA specialist. And the way I use my sales techniques, that has been so incredibly successful in me converting prospects into appointments and building trust with them. It, it, it's unbelievable. So let's talk a little bit about the, the conversion uh, techniques and how, how to really work these internet leads because I think that is a, that is a big pain point for some of our members and, and it is a little bit different. It's a different way of doing things. So, Blake, if you could can explain. I just, can I just cut in here for a second? Can you just, we've got a, a bunch of questions here of people that just don't, aren't quite following what's going on with this ad. So can you explain the the homes for sale in Temecula with only 2k down payment, where that ad yeah. run, and then where it points to, and then, yeah, then, sure. we in, then we can get into the follow-up, because there are a few people that have been sort of, they're okay, a little so, bit lost, so. I, I, I see the, okay, I see the ad right now, and from here, this is, you know, new state-funded program that allows you to buy homes, you know, in Temecula, blah, 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 with 2K down. Okay, so one of the items in the ad has to do with, uh, I think it's income, right? correct, Chrissy? Is that the ad you're showing right now, the one with yes. income levels? Right, so, okay. so the, the copy says, uh, that's right, new state-funded program. Do you make between 50 to 100K per year? You could own a home in Temecula with only 2,000 down payment. Click on the link below to get a free hot list of homes, including addresses, photos, and additional details. Free offer expires uh, 11.30, so the 30th of November, 2015. Okay, so here's a, here's a really cool thing uh, about that ad. Um, that's actually, that ad is, I think, the third or fourth generation. I want to say, I think it's more like the fourth generation. And that, we have found, has produced yet less leads than what we were producing before, but higher quality of leads. And that's because we added in the income into it. Before, without income. You know, one of the things that Dan Kennedy teaches, and even Craig teaches, is, you know, make the ad specific to who you want to target. And so that's what we did. And then another thing with direct response marketing, you know, always have a reason for them to act now, and that's where the expiration comes in. But we have a lot of people that go to that ad and we're pinpointing them and saying, if you make between fifty and $100,000 per year, you can own a home in Temecula with only $2,000 down. Well, let me explain the app. We have down payment assistance programs here in the state of California that enable buyers that make up to $100,000 the ability to buy a home with an FHA loan where the state will come in and cover all of their down payment up to a half percent. So a standard FHA loan requires 3.5% down. The state is actually going to come in and give them three of that 3.5%. Of course, there's qualifications that they need to make, but uh, most, you know, most people who call in, uh, they either do or they don't, and if they don't, we help them get to that point. So mm -hmm. if, it's not a buyer, if it's not a buyer now, it's a buyer in six months, essentially. So that's what the ad's doing, and the way – that, uh, the, you know, Chris, you can take them to the landing page, but you've created that hot list for me of homes that qualify. Well, in Temecula, you can buy up to the FHA loan limit, and which is the loan is 355 350 And so I think we've said it's something at like 355 or 375 And we're showing all the homes in Temecula that are 375 and below that they can buy with these programs. We capture their information, and then I make the follow-up call to see what their situation is and how we can assist them. And it's really the dialogue that I use when I'm talking to them on the phone. You know, this program's a little bit different than your standard buyer lead who's looking right now coming in. These people are looking for more direction and they're in the information gathering stage rather than just ready to go out searching for properties right now. 
Some of them are ready to go searching for properties right now, but that's where your sales skills come into place and be, you have to, you know, kind of sift and sort. You know, I love James's analogy, you know, the first time I ever heard him, you know, pretty much you got to sift and sort through, you know, buyers that are now and buyers that are in the future and you adjust your dialogue to who you're talking to, to your, to your audience essentially. Okay, well let's let's take a well, look at this ad copy well, before we get to the landing page. Christy. So this ad shows up in in your Facebook timeline. Yeah, so this ad, this ad I run it in two places. When you're running Facebook ads, it runs in two different locations. The first place is on mobile news newsfeed and desktop newsfeed. Now keep in mind when I'm watching the when I'm watching the um, the I think uh, the insights on these ads because when you're you know, especially uh, working with Success Website, you have that ads manager. When you look and review the insights like Jenny and I do every couple of weeks, we can see that 99% of the people who saw the ad saw it on a mobile news feed. And then 99%, oh, I think it was like, I think all these ads, 100% or close to it, uh, were clicked from a no mobile news feed. So even running it on desktop is kind of a moot point because not only does nobody see it, nobody clicks on it. So it's you, we're making these ads really specifically for mobile. So we try to get the good copy in there at the very beginning. Okay. So how specific are you getting with the, the when you target your ads? You're picking specific geographic locations? Are you picking? Yeah. So. So we, we base that actually the price per conversion. So first, when, we, when we're doing a test run, we're putting an ad out there, we're doing a 25 mile radius around where the location of the ad is to run. So Temecula, we're doing a 25 mile radius and we're running it to both men and women. And I've pinned this down between the ages of 35, 30 and 55. But then once we started to watch the insights of ads, we started to notice, we, we, we were able to identify who, who's the best cost per conversion. You know, where are we getting the best bang for our buck, essentially? And we were noticing in these ads that for this specific ad, it was females between the ages of 30 and 45. Our cost per conversion, not only was that the majority of where our leads were coming from, our cost per conversion was under $3 a conversion. I mean, we're talking these ads, these ads are converting under five dollars a conversion. So you know every hundred can every hundred leads that we're getting, you know we're only we're spending that less than that five hundred dollars that other people are just throwing out there to third party companies or on Google or whatever it may, may be. Um, and for us, we're we're able to kind of pinpoint exactly what we want to market. You know this is my specialty in my marketplace. Only two K down. I own the name. I actually created a specific brand just for that name. So that's what I'm known in my marketplace for. I don't want to market to everybody. I want to market to a specific group of people that I know that I can get the best rate of return on. And that for me right now, that's this group of people. Well, that's really important is, you know, you, you set out at the beginning to, to go after buyers, right? You, you made that choice. You said, I want to get more buyer leads. I want to run ads for first-time home buyers, and and you, know, you did. You were able to find something that produces a steady stream of leads for a very low cost, just because people are are obviously interested in what you have to offer. Well, Craig Craig always says you can't be everything to everybody. So that's why when we run our ads, especially with with you know Jenny and I are always developing new stuff. We are running specific ads to specific groups of people and our follow-up with those groups is specific to the people that we're going after. See, just like the, the veteran thing that I was talking to you about, all of our follow-up after that is based around helping veterans, being the veteran expert in our marketplace. You see what I'm saying? And I mean, so that's why it's, it's just not, you know, we're a buyer's agent, we're an agent that can help you buy or sell real estate. You know, we're going after that specific marketplace, you know, even with my seller business is the same thing when, you know, when leads were coming in offline and, you know, Facebook, we were running Facebook ads and we were getting them to convert for, you know, houses down the street. We had to figure out, you know, what was our brand? What, you know, what was our unique selling proposition? And, and then from there, that's, 
we were branded as that. And we, we found a very good follow-up system because everything is in the follow-up. Follow-up's everything. So, so Blake, the, uh, I've got a bunch of questions here of people that are just sort of wondering if you can explain the numbers a little bit. I know you talked about sort sure. of $3 per conversion. So when you, when you run this, like typically how many, how many leads are you getting in a week, say, or uh, how many of those people do you talk to? And what, when, yeah, you, so, when you're basing your conversion, that's, that's generating a lead, I'm assuming? Yeah, so it, in Facebook, and, and this is one of the things that everyone out here, when you're working with your rep at Success website, you know, you'll notice this. You build ads, not cost per click. Because we are direct response advertising, you do it cost per conversion. A conversion is someone going to your landing page, inserting a name, phone number, and email address. That's a conversion. That's a conversion on the landing page. So what I'm tracking is I want to know what's my cost per conversion. Because if I see an ad completely out of whack, if I'm starting to spend more than $10 and $15 per lead, then I want to rethink the ad. How can I make it more specific? How can I get a better rate, you know, return on investment? Because with internet leads, you know, it takes quite a few to convert. But for me, I've just built something a little bit different. So with these ads right here for only 2K down, uh, our cost per conversion, that's a name, phone number, and email address from, uh, from our advertisements, we, we spend less than $5. We spend anywhere from between $275 and $350 per conversion. And then from there, how many do we actually get on the phone? We actually get a lot. Um, I only want to say one out of every 10 probably has bad information. I have the statistics at the office because we keep it on everything. But it's actually pretty good because a lot of these people, they're not even wanting the hot list of properties. They're wanting the information on how they can buy a house with only 2K down. Of course, yes, a lot of people call in. You know, Before, when we didn't have the specific uh, the specific amount of income in the ad, we were getting everybody. And we were getting out of whack people with, you know, they barely, I kid you not, I was on the phone with some lady who made $250 a week working at Sam's Club. So, okay, well, we're spending a lot of time talking to people that are not our target audience, so let's redo the ad and let's add the income. So once we added the income, the amount of leads decreased, but the amount of quality prospects increased. So the majority now is they either, they all fall within the income bracket, so the only thing left is the, uh, the credit score. So we, we put people into two groups. The first group has great credit, we send them a package, we bring them in the office. The second group doesn't have good credit, they go into a specific bucket in our CRM, and what we do is we send weekly emails, or I'm sorry, monthly emails out to them, and I have a credit counselor here in the area that I do monthly calls, monthly like five minute videos on tips and that they can utilize to boost their credit. And so we follow up with them that way because the income's there, we just gotta get the credit fixed and that, and if they're dedicated to it, it's a period of time. Well, we've built automated systems that just take care of that now. All right. See, we, ser we, service, we service a lot of the people that most most real estate agents don't want, which is fine by me. I mean, that's that's how we have started to build our business. And just in down payment assistance, uh, GCI, this year, uh, when we came, rolled out with this program in, I think we rolled out with it in June. We weren't even doing it at the first super conference. We kind of developed it after. Since June, of the, we'll do three, probably three and a quarter like 325 to 350 in down payment assistance. And then next year, I have no, I mean, we're, we're double that, if not even more, just from down payment assistance. So it's one part of our business. We've just become the experts in that field. Well, and you, you know, you're, you're definitely keeping track of your, your ROI. When you're generating leads for under $5 per lead, you don't have to convert that many of them to get a huge return, but it sounds like you know almost all of your business this year has come from these leads. Oh yeah, and you know what's great about you know these types of leads when you build trust with people and they like you and they trust you, they start referring everybody. So for us, yeah, 
it, it's been a process to figure out the sequence with these types of leads, but really we've kind of found that secret sauce here and we're duplicating it in other niche marketplaces. And without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd be trying to develop my own landing pages and do all that kind of stuff. And it makes it really easy when I can just send it to your team like, hey, Jenny, here's an idea. Like, let's roll with this. And so I get the support from your side with the hot list, with the landing page, all that kind of stuff. And I can just focus on, okay, writing ad copy and then building a follow-up sequence. Mm. Yeah, which you make sound so easy, but I know that for some, this, oh. it's not that simple, right? No, it's not that simple, but... Yeah, can, okay, we've, we've had a couple of questions asking to see where the landing page is for that. Oh, there you go. You're way ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. So here, here we have the landing page. Now keep in mind, this is the desktop view, and as Blake said, probably 90% of traffic from Facebook is coming from a mobile device, whether it be a phone or a tablet. So you got to imagine this on a smaller screen. And, and this now, is the I, squeeze page. I, I'd also like to point out, Jenny and I have actually, and for those of you who don't know who I'm referring to, Jenny is the, is the person at Success website that I work you know, kind of side by side with on all this between her and Christy. And Jenny and I did a split test. We did the squeeze page versus allowing people to go to the HDX page and see the list immediately. But once they went to a property for more information, they had to log, they had to, you know, kind of sign up. Do you know that our split test showed 17 to one? We got 17 leads from the squeeze page for every one from allowing them to go to the HDX page, see the list of properties first, and then when they wanted to see a specifics about a you know a certain property, then get them to log in. I was shocked because I didn't believe it'd work. I believed that we would lose more leads from the squeeze page than the other route. But I was proven wrong, and the only way I would know that is by testing it. Okay, let me let me let me, let me stop you there, Blake. Um, I think that's a huge point, and and we got like three or four questions just popped up right away. So the idea with this page in particular is what we would call a squeeze page. So what that means is when people click on the Facebook ad, they'll come to this page, and there really isn't anything else they can do. So the, the only thing they're being squeezed into filling in that form, clicking the green button, show me the list, and that's what we call a squeeze page. There's really nothing they can do to, other than do what you want them to do, which is grab their contact information. At that point, you're then going to take them to the list of properties, which is pre-configured in the HDX site, so they'll then be able to see the properties. Okay, so then they're going to go and you can see. Yeah, it's generating this, the list. This will go, it'll generate the list of properties and they'll see the properties right away. So the other option that some people have tried, and I guess you've tried as well, is that you take them directly to the list and then when they start clicking on properties, they'll get prompted to then add their contact information if they want to see the details of the properties. So what you're saying is that the squeeze page approach generated you 17 times more leads than taking people directly to the listings. Yep, and that's correct. Obviously, that's a, that's a huge win in terms of direct response. And by that, I would think that you would almost always want to send people to squeeze pages as your default based on that number. Now it's great. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously they don't have to do it. The really nice thing about it is the HDX lets you deliver that whatever their query is automatically and we can set up these these queries any way you want. So we can set up specific price ranges, we can set up specific markets, we can set it up well, for uh, foreclosures, all those types of see, things. And, and Steve, that's my whole point is my whole point in, unless the members on this call test and track their results they are always going to be just kind of fly by night. Let's see what works. If I don't get responses in three days, well then F it, you know, this system, this product, this program doesn't work. And that's completely false. It's up to them to actually, you know, dig their heels in and track the results, test, see what works, and not be afraid, and, and, and you know, please forgive me, not be afraid to spend a little bit of money. And what I mean is, 
you know, I understand most real estate agents are, are tight on their funds. They want to see immediate results. But no, when you're doing this kind of testing, especially, you know, when I went into this testing with Jenny, I knew that I was investing in my future. And, you know, I would put a few hundred dollars behind the ad, and then if it didn't produce, okay, scrap it. It wasn't that the ad didn't work. It's something that I did or we did that didn't work. So first, let's look at how many people went to the landing page because was that the problem? You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, Jenny and I would review those insights. You know, well, no, we didn't get a whole lot of people to the landing page. That's not the problem. The problem is the ad didn't entice them enough to get them there. It wasn't what my market wanted. Okay, so if that's not what my market wanted, was it the copy or was it just, you know, the product that I was putting out there? See, I love it when I see real estate agents put out there, you know, come search your homes here at, you know, you know TemeculaHomeSearch.com. Well, that's for everybody, you know what I mean? If you, unless you're enticing them, you know, you're getting in the mind of the, of the prospect and understanding what they want, it, it'll never go anywhere. Yesterday I had a call from a, off my sign. You know, buy this house, I'll buy yours. Kid you not. That was exactly why she called me. That was in her mind. She goes, I never sold a house before. We want to buy your listing, but we don't know how this whole process works. Will you buy our li Will you buy our house? It kind of, this is kind of solving the question my husband and I have been going back and forth on for over two months. See what I'm saying? It was exactly what my prospects wanted. And that's exactly what your, the people on this call have to identify. Every market's different. You have to test. You have to test. You have to test. So, okay, so let's, I mean, let me just, okay, so when people are starting out, and I've had a bunch of, and maybe, Christy, you can give me the best answer to this, and Jenny's going to love Blake and all of us for this. Um, we've had a bunch of people wanting to know how they get started and what the process is when you first get started, um, and specifically a couple of people are asking how to get a, how to get a hold of Jenny. So. Maybe you can just talk about what, what this looks like when you first start. Okay. Yeah, I think that you know, when you first get started with our, with our management team, we do sit down and we start to think about, okay, who is our target audience? And many, many of you on the call today have sort of your ideal target audience in your head, you know, your avatar, so to speak, that person that you really want to attract and and um, attract your website, attract through your marketing. So that's one part of it is identifying that, which we help you do. Another part is also, though, as Blake was saying, really identify what your market wants. You know, that may not be completely in line with what you want, right? So that's that is something that we can definitely help you with because we have a lot of experience with lots of different agents in different markets and we've got a pretty good idea you know what prospects are usually looking for what types of campaigns are more likely to to get some leads for you and Blake I mean I'm sure that when you first got started you know there were some there were some stumbles along the way it wasn't like you guys hit it out of the park you know right from day one but oh, God, this, is no. a, God. this is a <laughs> it's, it's a process right it's not an event it's something that we, you know, we work together on, but once you find something that's working really well, now you've got something to build on. Now you've got something that's going to help you grow your business. So I don't know. I mean, yeah. like, why don't you share with everyone your first, you know, first few weeks, months working with us and, and, and how you found it? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the first couple weeks, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was okay. I mean, I was working with you guys. It was it wasn't that big of an issue. I mean, yeah, there were maybe some communication that was hard to get a hold of Jenny and things like that. And I know, and I know I've conveyed that to Steve and Steve and you are dealing with that, like how to get that, you know, faster in touch with people uh, over there and you're working to make some adjustments. But I mean, realistically, you look at the person at, you know, that you're working with as, at success website as your partner in this, you know what I mean? Not necessarily someone you're paying to, to do the work for you. You need to educate yourself. I mean, the small management fee you guys charge to, to assist, it's, trust me, it's more of a collaboration. It's all the, you know, my, you know, the work that just goes into doing the little stuff that takes so much time. So that's why now, for me mostly, I'm just writing copy and I'm telling Jenny, you know, what I want to run and boom, I can send that in one quick email 
and she's taking the time to put everything together and we're reviewing it together. This is not like a set it, forget it kind of thing. This is something that you have to actively be involved in and be willing to test because you guys over there, I, I'm going to be honest with you, there's no way you can know every market. You have no idea what everybody wants. You know what I mean? Some markets in Arizona, you know, people only want to see distressed sales. I know my buddy up in uh, Toronto, Hugo, he, he, foreclosures are killing it up there. That's the ad that works for him. Pool homes don't work up there. You know what I mean? Pool homes work in my area because it's sunny Southern California. So every market is different, and you got to really put your – you're, you got to get in the shoes of the prospect and think, what do they want? Let's give them exactly what they want. But that's when you're working with the, your, your person at Success website. You have to think of someone that is there as a partner more than someone that's just working for you because it's really you. You're the local expert. They're going to do all the technical stuff for you, but you're the local expert. You have to tell that, you know, you, essentially you've got to tell that you guys, the, you know, the, the coaching members have to tell you what to run and what to test because, you know, uh, other, if they're not, then they're just, they're destined for failure. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, and that's pretty important. I mean, we are, we are the ones who can set up the campaign for you to make sure all of your tracking is in place, which is really important, really, really important. I don't want anyone to, to come away from this webinar not having that absolutely clear in their mind that tracking and testing is such a huge part of this whole program. You really aren't going uh, to, you're, you're never going to, to get off the ground. You're never going to, you know, really build your business until you get this, this down, this idea of tracking and testing. So that's what we facilitate. We facilitate the, um, the campaigns and how, and how they get set up. And, and we do, we want to work closely with you to make sure that we are putting out offers and ads that are going to attract people in your marketplace and give them what they want, which is why it's so important to have something like the HDX. Like if, if you're in a, a market that we can provide you know, listing data for, being able to deliver that hot list and actually fulfill that obligation right away is quite important, Blake. So, so why don't you talk a little bit about fulfillment and when you're following up and some of the things that are working really well for you when you are making these calls and following up on your leads. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell everyone on today's call exactly what I tell everyone. That there's a small group that consistently called me looking for help and assistance with Facebook. And I'll tell everyone on today's call that I tell them, if you don't have the HDX, don't waste your money. Don't even waste your, don't waste your time. Because if you don't have all of the sites that you guys, you know, especially the HDX, it's not worth it, honestly. I mean, it's, to me, I, you guys have built a great program for me. They come into the landing page. We set a type of criteria of properties they get to look at. And you, Christy, I am so appreciative for because you went back to the developers after I asked for it and said, okay, see this, this group, this type of list, you know, here are the criteria. We want to build an automatic save search so it's just the homes that fit this save search that are going to these prospects. So you guys have actually made it to where I don't have to set up save searches. These prospects already get save searches for the specific type of homes that they're looking for. So now I'm done. I mean, they come in to the squeeze page, they register, they're getting save searches sent to, you know, they're getting list of properties sent to them as, as soon as they become available. And I can't tell you with that automatically set up, I mean, yesterday, I think I had 30 or 40 people come back to the HDX and search for properties. I know exactly who to target and who to call, who's looking to make a move right now. So without that HDX, I mean, I'm hearing some of the people on, you know, that are using this program, the squeeze pages, that they're going to send them a list. They're going to call them and then, you know, email them a list of properties. That's a lot of manual work. I mean, is it, you know, how, how much extra is the HDX? Like a hundred and some odd bucks, really? Something like that? Whatever something it is, like I mean, yeah, something like that. Whatever it is, it's like my time's worth a lot more. So that HDX is a huge piece of the puzzle for me. I mean, it's actually the only type of search site that I even use. So for me, people aren't going to choose me based on the search site that they get to. People are going to choose to work with me because of me, because of the value that I bring to the table the unique selling propositions that I have, the follow-up process that I do. I mean, how many agents just make one or two calls and that's it? 
Now, people are going to work with me because of me. I've never had any of my prospects even complain about the HDX site. So oh, that's, that's why good. I say, well, you know what I mean? I, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot prettier sites out there, but it's, you know, it's the functionality. It's giving them exactly what they want. Does that make sense? Yep, yep. And I'm just um, I'm showing on my screen here what a lead looks like when it comes in through the HDX. I, I filled out. You'll get a lead from me. If you haven't already, Blake, just uh, I'm testing. But the, um, the, the activity, you can see exactly when I came in originally, what I've been looking at, what neighborhood I'm interested in. Like there's so much intel here that you can use as part of your follow-up. So you've got quite a bit of information on these guys before you even pick up the phone and call. Yeah, and, and like I said, the biggest thing that's been for me is, you know, when I'm calling them, I'm bringing some value to the phone call, and I'm offering them something that no other real estate agent or person that they've talked to has offered them. I've got more value than anyone else, and that's what how I win business. And not only that, I mean, see, for, for me, Christy, I don't, the, the volume's great, but I mean, I make 3.5% plus 4.95 admin fee on every single buyer that I work with, even cash buyers. I mean, I have cash buyers who call in, I still get that fee. So in my market, yeah, I'm only selling $300,000 houses, but I'm making over 10 grand a sale. So mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? So not only am I able now to kind of pinpoint that market, uh, I'm able to get really good prospects that I enjoy working with, and I make a lot of money doing it. So it's just made my life, you know, really easy. Like I said, you know, when you can make that follow-up phone call and know what they're looking for, you're able. I mean, I'd love to know, Steve. You know, by the the you know by all the people on today's call, how many actually are able to get mailing addresses for buyers on the initial phone call within five minutes? I've actually been able to do it in you know, under two minutes get their mailing address to actually send something. So for me, not only am I following up via email, I'm actually able to send them things via snail mail, and that's just, that's what's been crushing it. People come in seeking your help. You are the master. You are, you know, the person, that, the go-to person in your area for this type of program or product. Oh, you can charge whatever you want. All right. So, Blake, are you, there's a bunch of people asking, so you're using the, you're using the My Leads within the Success website to view all the web activity. Um, are you using another CRM, or are you just using? How are you tracking yeah, all I, the leads? And yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, you know, this is this functionality is working great for you know putting them in there, you know, getting them a safe search. I am using a different CRM, but that's because I have my buyers and my sellers and everything. I, I, I'm I've spent a lot of time. I'm not, you know, the CRM that I'm using is really advanced CRM because I'm I'm actually re, I don't want to say dehumanizing my business. But I'm utilizing a lot of technology to keep my overhead low and keep my, you know, my profits high. And so, yeah, I am using a different CRM, but that has, you know, when we're talking about leads and phone calls and things like that, it really has nothing to do with it. I had to go to a different CRM, Steve, when I started getting 700 to 800 leads a month, and we were a two-man operation. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's a lot of leads to deal with at one time. So we just needed a, a different kind of system to support us. So. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not. This is a this fun, no, fun you're, specifically you, asking what you, you're using, and it's fine. No, no. Fine. And you got. Yeah, you guys actually support it great. There's actually a feature I use Infusionsoft, and there's actually a feature within Success website. You guys are a supporter of Infusionsoft, so that's why. Yeah, that's the system that I utilize. But you know, keep in mind, I have I have other businesses at the same time, so that's why I have you know everything kind of intermingled. I can go to one CRM and see what my businesses are doing. So, okay. Well, we're, I, I want to get to a couple of quick questions. I know we've had a, and I don't want to run past our hour here today. I know your your time's valuable. Um, so maybe you can just give us an idea of what your like. You started running this uh, first time, effectively a first time buyers campaign. Um, targeting $2,000 down homes. Um, can you give us an idea of some, what your, some of your numbers are? Like how many leads, sure. how many conversions, how many sales have you made? Just to give people some perspective on. Yeah, sure. So uh, we started running these ads, I want to say, in, in June, June or July. And, you know, keeping in mind, 
Most people that inquire about these ads are 60 to 90 day prospects because they're just starting. They want to come in and get some information, go through the process of getting pre-qualified, and then on average, if they're ready to go, you know, it's 45 to 60 days to show them property, get them into escrow. So we're just seeing the batch of leads that we generated, you know what I mean, August, September, start to kind of convert over. Um, so right now, I think since June, our, and excuse me, I don't have the numbers off my head, but when I looked at them last week, we're over, we're over 200 in GCI from June just on these ads, just on these types of buyers. Um, the other buyers and sellers are separate. I kind of keep this one to know what the results are. I, I actually break my GCI down by type of buyer, by source. You know, referrals are different than this ad, different than that ad. But this ad right here um, is running two, over 200,000 in GCI. Uh, the amount of leads I, I have, I, I've 1,500 <laughs> maybe since June. But, but I will point out this. We actually found that it was more successful to run this ad in higher price markets than it was to run in lower price markets. And what I mean is, you know, my market of Temecula, the average sales price is like 360000 Well, an hour north in, um, in, a, uh, in a community that, or in a city that has a bigger population, but the average sales price is like two fifty. the ad actually, yes, it produced more leads, but worse quality. So we actually pulled it from like seven cities we pulled it out of because we were getting a ton of leads, but the quality of prospect was just terrible. And that's why we said, okay, we're seeing it runs better in these communities that are a little bit more high priced. And when we put the, the dollar figure in there. So now since we've done that about a month ago, our conversion is great. Like I said, they usually fall into one of two buckets. The first bucket is people who are ready to go. And a lot of people don't even use the program. That's the best thing, Steve. A lot of people have the money down for an FHA loan. They're just, they've never heard of the program. So they inquire about it. We had a buyer come in and get qualified the other day. Has 12000 in the bank. And they'll buy a house no problem with just a standard FHA loan because they make a little bit too much money. But it got them to inquire. It got me on the phone with them to close them. So, uh, but you know, that's, that's our numbers so far on this, on this ad. Like I said, we haven't started, we started with you guys in like May or June after the first super conference in Anaheim. And then after that, we didn't run these types of targeted ads until like July, August time, July, I want to say. So it's been a good first good six months while we're learning. And now that we know how to run these ads, we actually, I just got my second HDX page to move into a different market. Um, so we're in one county, we're moving into another county that has a little bit higher purchase price, uh, probably a little bit higher quality prospect as well. And so we're actually expanding and it's all thanks to how you guys have helped us design everything. So it's been, it's been killer, it's been really good. Awesome. Okay, I, I, I want to ask you one more question, Blake, about, about sort of what your follow-up strategy is um, and also why why you think the first time buyers have been such a good place to start and why that's been a successful for you. But I, we got a ton of questions, Christy, about how people can get more information about management or HDX or how to get a hold of you or get a hold of Jenny. So sure. maybe you can well, answer those first in case some yeah. people have to leave. Okay. Yeah. If if people want to get a hold of me, you can um, send send an email. I mean you can always call in as well. But if you send an email to Christy, it's something I'll put in the chat panel here. It's K-R-I-S-T-I-E at successwebsite.com. And you know, many of you on the call today, I would suspect, are already in management and just may not be um, familiar with, with this level of customization you know, that we can do. So shoot me an email. Let me know, uh, you know what time works best for you. We'll set up a call and we can, we can review the ads that you've got going and, and make sure that you're dialed into something that's going to work in your market. Okay, and phone number one eight hundred. Phone number. Yep, one eight hundred three six one nine five two seven. I'll I'll put that in the chat panel as well. Okay, so you can go to successwebsite.com. It's in the top right corner of the page. And anybody, if you, whatever questions you've got, if you want to get a hold of Jenny, just fire them all off to Chrissy, 
and we'll we'll redirect them to the right person if you've got a got an existing rep that's working with you or you just want someone to help you get set up and get started with it. We'll uh, we'll get you going. Okay, so why why did uh, why first time buyers, Blake? Yep. You're still there, Blake? Blake, are you there? Okay. Well. Okay. Well, if he comes back, probably get back on. I'm right here. Right here. Sorry. 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 There we Sorry. go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So why why first time buyers, Blake? Um. It's it's what my market is. I mean, quite frankly, I mean, the reason first time buyers is just the only way I stumbled on on that was running. I don't know, six, seven, eight different ads and seeing what produced better results. It just goes back to testing. You know what I mean? So I was, keep in mind, I've had my real estate license 10 years, but I didn't start selling real estate until last March, last April. Um, I was always a broker, always flipping property, and then my business just took a downturn. And, you know, so it was like last March or April. And then I joined uh, Craig Proctor Coaching in last November. And then I joined uh, the Platinum in, I want to say, April at the Super Conference. And uh, then ever since, you know, my business has taken a complete shift. I've actually ended up in the number, I'm in the top, I'm in the top 10 in the city of where I sell real estate now. So, um, and that's in my first year. So, um, why first time home buyers? It's what my market said. It's what my market told me that uh, it was. So, it was just by testing, you know, move up, buy, move up buyers in my area uh, don't really work. There's not a lot of move up properties. The next city up, or the next city north of me, they have higher priced homes and that's the move up community. So that's what I target there. And that does really well for me as well. So it's... The nice thing about first time buyers, obviously, is they don't have, you don't have to wait for them to sell their house. So obviously there's that's a... It. That, that, that's true as well. Plus, you know, when you're sitting down with them going over the uh, VIP buyer agreement, they think that's normal. And when you're charged 3.5% to help them buy a house, they think that's normal. So everything kind of goes together. But, yeah, these, a lot of these buyers, you know, they come in, and I've taken a buyer from a call to a closing in 40 days. Okay, awesome. So what? Um, last question. So maybe just to give people an idea what the what the dollar investment here is to like where did you start with your budgets when you started testing and where are you at now and well I run five dollars an ad I run five dollars uh, I started at five dollars per ad per day and I still run five dollars per ad per day um, right now I probably spend a, a couple thousand dollars a month fifteen hundred to two thousand but that's because you know, we're trying to go up, we're, we're trying to get to that six figures a month. We're pretty close to it right now. Um, so, I mean, the rate of, the return on investment's there. There's no question about that. But, you know, we spend that kind of money because I am running it in multiple cities, multiple different types of ads um, to keep the phones ringing. For me, I saw the investment. I get to spend $2,000 a month just on ads, not on systems and ads, but just on ads. So the amount of leads that I'm getting uh, now, we're still probably about the four to five, four to six hundred leads a month right now, just off this. Um, so that's why I'm excited to move to Google. One of the reasons I am moving to Google and creating these ads there is because I want to see: are they more now buyers? Are we getting better quality of leads, or are we getting more long term? What are we getting there? So um, we'll see. We can only know. Once we test, then we mm -hmm. track. Yeah, but I think that the you're starting from a good place, whereas you know that this this offer is working really well in a display medium, which is Facebook, right? People aren't actively yeah. searching for information on Facebook. They just see something that that interests them, and they click on it. So it's a, it's a topic that is definitely of interest. So it'll be interesting to see how that works in Google where people are in that research mode they are actively searching for information yeah it's gonna be really interesting that's why uh, I'm, I'm excited to get that going I think we're actually starting that today 
and I strategically picked out some of the ads. Now, I, I also want to point this out. You know, I'm a new coach, and a couple, I, I, you know, I have a couple people who are on the waiting list to come coach with me, but I talk to them a lot, and it's because one of the things we're talking about is writing copy. See, I, I have spent a lot of time over the last six months studying Craig, studying other, you know, studying how to write good copy. And so that's what I think really separates me over a lot of the competitors in the marketplace, especially on Facebook, is I've learned how to write copy. You know, when you see the only 2K down ad there, everything is strategic. Everything's been tested um, and everything is in there for a reason. You know, so that's why, you know, I point out, I'm just like, okay, everything, you know, the expiration is there for a reason. And that changes, you know, every two months, you know, this income level there, this is there, that is there, and it's all there for a reason. So that's why even on the Google ads, I, you know, I'm going to sit there and write the copy because I want to be held responsible for it. You know, I want to be able to make small adjustments to see what works. And a lot of the members on here, if you don't, if you don't know how to write copy, you know, use what's, you know, being provided to you through the management tools at success. But, you know, I highly recommend learn how to write good copy. You know, it, just copy what Craig has on the website, copy and paste, copy and paste. And a lot of my ads, that's what it is. It's copy and pasted directly from the Craig Proctor ads. Awesome. Okay, well, thanks, Blake. I, I want to wrap up today, and uh, we really appreciate your time. Uh, no problem, Steve. Thanks for coming thanks on the call. Steve. A reminder to everybody that we do these calls. The Internet call is every second Monday of every month. Um, hope we can you can join us again next month. Um, I hope today's call was useful, judging by the questions, and certainly sounds like it was. Um, lots of people asking to asking about how to get in touch again. Christy, can you uh, just give us the contact information one more time? Sure. Our 1-800 uh, our number is 1-800-361-9527. My email is Christy, K-R-I-S-T-I-E, at successwebsite.com. And, yeah, send us, a, send us an email, give us a call. We'll, we'll get you going. Okay. Uh, again, we really appreciate everyone coming on the call. I had lots of people there, and uh, hope hope you found everything very useful um, and uh, something you can use in your business. So let's go out and sell some houses, and uh, I hope everyone has a, a great holiday, and we'll talk to you next month. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Blake. Uh, this ends today's call.